task of developing a fact sheet that we can use as a tool to advocate for our opportunity program. My name is Enrique Noguera. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rebecca Quayle. I'm Ada Castro-Hennick. Vanessa Cruz. And I'm Scott Quayle. And for our case study, we took the form of creating a college opportunity program. And we're going to be talking to you, the legislatures of uh, our state. and. Um, we were going to go with the Duran and Lane Technical College, but we thought that might be copyrighted, so we went with Miss Mythbusters University. So good old MBU. Um, we don't have a football team, but we're trying. So nonetheless, let's talk about myths about college opportunity programs. Myth number one, college opportunity program is something new. That's not the case. Our program has been around, with, and it was born 40 years ago. Uh, it's designed to serve the academically and financially vulnerable students. Students that uh, might not get into college any other way, but they've got potential. They've got the desire to be successful, and they've got the ability to do it. Our job is to help them. Uh, currently, our program has graduated about 35,000 students since 1974, and we're very proud of that. We started small, and we're growing every year. Myth number two. A lack of awareness means a lack of applicants. That is not true. The facts of the matter is, is that for our program last year, we were up to 7% over the uh, statewide average, which was 4%. So, people are interested in our program, we want to build the program, and the demand is there for the program. Myth number three, opportunity programs are solely for minority students. <laughs> Our research has found that in actuality, uh, we had a large number of white students and Asian students that uh, applied for the program. Uh, the numbers up there, if you, if you can read in the back, 